What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Steve from Printer Gang Investments. Back with another video. Market just closed, and Palantir just closed at 41.45. I don't know if you guys can see that. With that being said, things are starting to get hot out here. Things are heating up out here. Um, to all my shareholders, stay calm. Stay calm. If you took profits, good for you. If you didn't take profits, good for you. So, at this point, where can we be going from here? My raw thoughts on this is this got to be the earnings run up. It kind of looks a little crazy because we kind of been running up since last earnings, but this is like two, three weeks before earnings. So, I would say maybe it's traders, you know, getting their positions in order, but really. If retail is net selling Palantir and the seat, the execs aren't doing the ad, and this got to be institutional buying. This got to be institutional buying. There's no way. There's no way. We just rolled up from 30 to 45. Retail can't do that. Company too big for that. So the bigger question is why are the institutions loading up Palantir hand over fist like this? That's the question. I recently watched a video a few days ago. It's kind of funny. We got an analyst saying Palantir is the best stock he's ever seen. And I guess when people start making statements like this, I guess our DD was right, you guys. Listen to this real quick. So I don't think this moved the, the dial on anything. Um, however, super core inflation is still tracking at about 3.4%. So I don't know that this inflation is, okay. the problem is quote unquote solved, but I don't think we're gonna change anything going on with the Fed or the market with this reading. Tell me please what's happening with Palantir. Everybody's recommended it. Everybody says buy it. What's the reasoning? Stuart, in, in my 25 years, this is the best stock I have ever seen. Wow. Um, we are at a wow. moment in history where uh, where the world is changing in terms of how data is processed and technology is received. And Palantir was funded by the CIA in 2003 and they've been working with AI for over 20 years. They have a software that can sit on top of any company's system and process the data that they need. It's nice to have what they call these large language models, the things that NVIDIA chips are processing in the cloud with Microsoft and Amazon and Google, but without a software to implement it, without some way to process that data, make sense of it into an actionable dashboard. They've made, they've done unbelievable things with places like the NHS from your homeland in the UK uh, to up to Cedar Sinai in the Bronx. Um, there is nothing like this company that I've ever seen in my history of the market. Um, they, they've only their revenues only are like just a, just under three billion for the last twelve months. But there's a um, enterprise resource planning ERP market is seventy billion dollars a year palantir could take over the entire thing they have a superior product that takes a fraction of the amount of time to implement um, you you need a software for the front end of your ai implementation palantir is so far ahead of anyone else in the market the right. sky is the limit for the stock i think everybody needs to own it you like it obviously like, you said it's the best <laughs> you hear that Looks like our thesis was right. It looks like they're starting to figure out what we figured out two, three years ago, a year or two ago, two years ago. So with that being said, if those analysts coming on TV speaking like that, what you think they're doing behind the scenes with their portfolios and their buys? That was what, 10 days ago when the stock was still like 36, 37 bucks. Now we have 41, 50 and counting with earnings coming up. They must be seeing something we not seeing. They must be on the ground floor with these companies or they must be getting data. I don't know. I think we finna beat these earnings. We might not beat these earnings. That's why I took some profits just in case, but it's looking kind of bullish. It's looking kind of bullish, people. I ain't gonna lie to you. One thing I will say is for all my shareholders, don't trick yourself out your gains, man. If you really bought this low, don't get scared because it's going up so much. Yeah, take some, do some risk management, but let it ride. Let it ride. 
I've been investing in a lot of stocks. I never heard an analyst say it's the best stock he's ever seen. And you hear what he's saying. We can take whole markets. He just described the ontology. He said you need something to organize the data, something to sit on top of the data, the large language model. That's the ontology. That is or was, as this price goes high and it appears the market is figuring it out, that's the alpha right there. The more people realize that, it's going to be like a duh moment. When they realize that you got to ontologize that data from these large language models that everybody is talking about and bragging about so much, that's when this thing is really just going to take off. But, you know, this is just my thoughts on what's going on with the share price right now. I'm going to be back doing some more videos, some more, you know, general market reviews. Uh, any stocks you guys might want me to cover, um, stocks, other stocks I'm holding, maybe even some life talk type content but it's your boy steve from printing gang investments i'm gonna be back in the next video